So, uh, good morning. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Ashok Kanda, one of the vascular surgeons uh, in Oxford and the principal investigator for the Oxford Abdominal Aortic Aneurysm Study. Uh, thank you so much for all, all of you coming and a very uh, literally warm welcome to you uh, at the John Ratcliffe uh, today and to the Thames Valley Vascular Network, uh, which is represented by many of my colleagues, both in the audience uh, and who are going to speak. So what um, uh, the purpose of, of today uh, is multi-purpose, really. The first thing is that this is largely about giving you information uh, about uh, aneurysmal disease, uh, the, some of the advances within the treatments of that, uh, and, and also to, for us to have an opportunity to give back to those of you who are already enrolled in the OxAA study some feedback on uh, an update, really, on what progress we've made uh, over the last two and a half to three years. It's also to give you an opportunity to have dialogue, and so there's quite a lot of time uh, in the morning session uh, with the questions and answers with our panel uh, of experts uh, uh, about uh, your concerns and aneurysmal disease information. It's really good to see uh, not just patients or potential patients if you've got an aneurysm and you're in screening, but also family members, because that's a really important part of knowing and you knowing how it impacts uh, on you as a family as well as an individual. Uh, the other thing is, is for you to meet others with the same condition. In a typical vascular clinic of 20 to 24 patients, there might only be about three or four uh, with an aneurysm because, of course, we also deal with carotid disease and peripheral arterial disease, uh, whereas here we only have a collection of, of the real experts in aneurysms, which is, of course, you, the patients, uh, and, and their families. And, uh, we hope that will give you an opportunity over lunch and in the afternoon, which is a really uh, uh, a much more of a FET uh, type uh, session, uh, to share your experiences both with each other, with other families, but also with us. Uh, and so that leads on to the next uh, point, which is it, it's about you also informing us, uh, uh, our team. We're really privileged to have technologists here, uh, nurses from the ward, physios, OTs, uh, people from the theatre operating team, people from radiology, uh, as, as well as surgeons and anaesthetists. So it's a really the whole team is here, uh, and as well as our researchers, uh, so that you can tell us how we could have improved uh, your care from your experience and how we can improve it for patients uh, along the way over the next five to ten years. Uh, and of course some of you will be in that category where you're, you're going to be having further treatment. Uh, and then really important from the research point of view is rather than us uh, as clinicians setting the research agenda, uh, I think in the 21st century we move to a completely new era where we want to know from you what's important to you. And I know many of you have already filled in our uh, questionnaire. I'm delighted to say we've had over 160 responses already. Uh, we're aiming for a target across the rest of the Thames Valley to get over 500 patients' views on what's important to you and your families about the research so that we can use that to inform our research agenda for the next five to ten years. Uh, and so that's really important to us. So that's the, the purpose, if you like, overall of today. Uh, the way we've put that together, uh, and you'll all have a copy of the programme, uh, is to, and I'm delighted uh, that I've got many of my colleagues come uh, and speak today and uh, uh, on, on screening, on the anaesthetic experience, on open surgery, uh, on endovascular or keyhole surgery, uh, and then they'll be staying around uh, for an extended uh, question and answer session uh, from you. And that's where you come into the fore, really, in uh, telling us what you want to know. Uh, and some of that might be patients who've already had surgery uh, telling us what it was really, uh, really like. Uh, and then uh, there's some lunch and hopefully lots of cold drinks on a hot day like today. Uh, and in the afternoon, uh, you have an opportunity to go around and have much more detailed conversations, both with our team, but also with each other. Uh, so that's the uh, plan uh, for today. Uh, we are supported today. Uh, the day has been funded by the uh, Patients Initiative in Research 
uh, programme uh, and also by Oxford University uh, as part of a public engagement and research programme. So we have had a little bit of money to make sure that we could put today on and I, I really want to uh, acknowledge that uh, from both the University uh, and the Patients Initiative for Research. Um, so without uh, further ado, uh, if you haven't uh, answered our survey, then there'll be an opportunity this afternoon to do that. And that survey we think is going to be a keystone of us deciding what kind of research we do for the next five to ten years. And, and we're really uh, very much uh, uh, wanting to know what kind of things are important to you so that we can look at those rather than things that we think might be important. So uh, thank you very much. I hope that you will enjoy uh, the day. Uh, we're certainly looking forward to it. Uh, and thank you very much. So we'll go on to our first uh, speaker.